It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to the shows and read reviews online at WCBE.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Kevin Carr. And this is It's Movie Time. <laughs> hey, howdy, cowboy. Howdy do. <laughs> All right. A very hostile Kevin Carr here yes. today. <laughs> That's right. I am. I am. Uh, I'm. I, I'm wound up. I'm really not all that wound up about this movie, though. Oh, we're talking about Hostiles, and this is directed by Scott Cooper, who did also Crazy Heart. Crazy Heart's what he's best known for, yeah. and and that, of course, got Jeff Bridges uh, uh, an Academy right. Award. Out of the Furnace, mm -hmm. Black Mass. Yeah. It's kind of heavy-duty stuff, would you he, say, Kev? He is not a light-hearted director, no. <laughs> it, it, his stuff is its very heavy, it's very dour. <laughs> yes, he is. So in this one, Christian Bale. Mm -hmm. Who's right. an, a, out of the furnace. <laughs> right, so. and with an appropriate last name, a baleful actor, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, is the Union Captain. Uh -huh. And he is transporting uh, a uh, Cheyenne. What, is he? Uh, yeah. Well, it's, yeah. It's 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 a. I don't remember the the tribe, but he's yeah, he's an Indian chief who. Yeah. He's got to get back to his land. He he's transporting him there as 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 a uh, as a courtesy, as a safety. Yeah. And, and the and federal also, government kind of softening up a little bit. Yeah. On its anti-Indian. Well, uh, and yeah, and warfare. of course his character is uh, one of the old school people who spent most of his time slaughtering the Indians. Bail. And and that's what he that's what he's best. And at. the chief. Did spend a lot of time slaughtering. Oh yeah, there was, <laughs> the white man. There was uh, there was some stuff going back and forth there. I just have there. to say, the chief is played by Wes Studi. Mm. This is not the first time he's played an Indian. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, best known when he was in like Last of the Mohicans. And any time that there's like a, you know, like an Indian uh, a chief or, okay. a, or or a warrior, you you'd recognize him. He's a well known right. guy. Lots of close ups of that furrowed face mm -hmm. uh, and. Um, uh, I think, yeah. Kevin, that someday he'll, he'll probably be on Mount Rushmore. He's got that. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that kind of faith. But anyway, so along the way, or a nickel, <laughs> right? Along the way, we have a lovely lady played by Ro Rosalind, Rosalind Pike. Pike yeah. I mean, her family very much like searchers and so on. In mm -hmm. some sense, here, her family's been decimated by the Indians. Yep. She's alone. He picks her. He his. They just come acro across her, and she yeah. joins the party we'll yeah the, the, which is taking them back so um so kevin you know people will cite unforgiven yeah. uh, there are some some westerns that have occurred uh after dances with wolves yeah where we could kind of a revisionist do you consider this a revisionist western i don't know i mean i think it's, it's, it's weird because i think there's conflicting things going on in here one of them is they have this rogue group of indians that is about as stereotypical <laughs> And that you'd expect to ever see on some like 1950s crappy TV show, and you know they're they're running around hooting and hollering, just slaughtering settlers. You know they slaughter her family, and yeah, and 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 so so they so they have that, which kind of sticks in my mind as being somewhat you know just kind of. I thought we were past that <laughs> in yes, terms of yes, how yes. we make cowboy and Indian movies. And then they have that overly dour return, you know, uh, uh, like you said, the unforgiven thing where you're looking at what you've done in your past and you, you're you trying to make peace with yourself right. and peace with others. So they have that theme there, but uh, so they do kind of butt heads with that. And they do, I wouldn't say it's revisionist because I think it shows the bad stuff and the good stuff, but I just don't think it's very... Uh, finessed. <laughs> when you mentioned, and and you're reminding me, uh, Kevin. We get very little about the Indians in this, yeah, especially know. the bad guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, and and even with us, with the the chief in mm -hmm. that group, they're almost mute for goodness yeah. sakes. And everything is on the cavalry and uh, uh, the uh, Mrs. Quaid, the uh, Roseman Pike. Yeah. And then Kevin for something else kind of irrelevant. Let's throw in. Ben Foster to give him a chance. Who's to... great in the movie? <laughs> and and he just says, and he's in the trailer. He's all over the trailer. <laughs> yeah, but he's... And and Ben Foster, I think, could could have been a, a very strong figure in this. But yeah, he's just like in for like a scene. <laughs> he is, he's he's a murderer. They have to take back to be tried. Yeah. Uh, but this is this is boilerplate Foster. 
Yeah. Just a very bad boy. Hmm. <laughs> But I can't figure out where that really fits in. Yeah, it felt like there. It, it, it seriously, it felt like there were like three different scripts that <laughs> yes. they were trying to do, yes. and, and he's kind of crammed them all together. Right, right, right. Um, my biggest problem with it is, you know, people are people no matter where they are, and even if they're doing horrible things or they've done horrible things, there's always a certain like sense of humor and a lighthearted boy. Everything is just oh, it's just you hit dour. It. This and is depressing. just the gloomiest movie to come along. Now, I love gloomy movies. Yeah. So there are parts of this that I really like. Okay. Because I have a feeling this is maybe the way it was. Okay. Uh, I mean, I have a sense of the the reality of taking somebody from New Mexico to Montana, yeah. how difficult that would be, uh, how you would come across some very bad people along the way. Well, and they all have very heavy hearts, you know. We, they, you know, at the end of an era for Christian Bale, same thing for West Duty's character. Rosamund Pike's yes. been widowed, yes. and yes. her kids are, yeah, I mean, it's so everyone's got some some heavy stuff to deal with. And you're right, we, we're approaching, we're 1890s, I think, so we're approaching yeah. the fin de siècle, we're going into a new century. And I think when Westerns have tried to show that, it's been salutary, given all of the pulp that I grew up with. Yeah. To look at movies like this is, to me, to be have a breath of air and saying, okay, yeah, because in fact, life is, is going on and these... Are being these people are being phased out completely, and yeah. the movie tries to do that. I remember one movie, uh, and I've forgotten the name, where they use the apple peeler as the symbol of the change. You know, okay. Somebody selling this in the train, All right. and you, you and you know this is you know this is new, a newfangled, mm. and this is the new century coming. Yeah. So it attempts to do that, but by and large, you're right. It's it's really a pretty bleak. Yeah, Journey. I mean, there was there was this turning point with the uh, really with the kind of classic westerns that uh, Clint Eastwood did in like the late '60s and in the '70s. That was the turning point from the rah rah hooting and holler and old school western and the more uh, retrospective and introspective movies that came after it. And yeah, this is almost going even deeper into it, uh, you know. And I think we've had this that it's turned so introspective on some of these. That it just gets, it's it's just heavy, and, and it's, to me, that's not entertaining. I'll tell you, the one that, that does it for me mostly mm -hmm. is Dances with Wolves. Mm -hmm. I think I can take that in a long measure. Okay. I can take that kind of sweet, slow approach to the change that's coming, his assimilation with the Indians. Uh, I, I got that. Well, because it's his story. Yeah. Exactly. And they stick with it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, and, however, this one is just hitting you with Christian Baalism. <laughs> yeah. To the end. Kevin Carr, <laughs> I think before we actually put our audience to sleep with our gloom here, oh. uh, or despair, Grumble. as if they don't have enough to despair about <laughs> today, the film is Hostiles. It's opening today. No. And it stars Christian Bale. And Kevin Carr, what grade would you award it? I'm going to give it a C minus. Oh, <laughs> Okay, and because I grew up on westerns, and I love westerns, and even gloomy ones inspire me, I'm going to award it a B. Oh, okay. So I don't know where this thing is going to go as it opens up. Who knows? Who, who knows? However, we do know we've brought our hats to the show. That's right. Riding <laughs> off into the sunset.